Welcome to Thursday's Devotion. Psalm 22 begins with David asking God, Why have you forsaken me? He was on the run from King Saul, a real enemy that he was hiding from. Right now, during this spring of 2020, we are also hiding from a real enemy, the coronavirus. And we often have asked God, where are you in the midst of this? I have taken the liberty of composing a paraphrase for our spring 2020 COVID quarantine of Psalm 22. So while no temptation has seized us that is not common to all of us, I wanted to provide a few specifics for this Psalm as we try to understand where God is this spring. So open up your Bible to the 31 verses of Psalm 22 and see if you can relate with a few of the words changed to our circumstances. OMG, OMG, why have you left me all alone? Why does the lockdown go on and on and on, even though I've been praying and begging you for help? OMG, I'm crying and complaining every day. Are you listening? I have nightmares that keep me from sleeping. I can't rest. Do you know that? I know you are God. Everyone has trusted you for as long as I can remember, and anyone I know can remember. You have saved them before when they asked. I have heard all of the stories, and I believe them. What's wrong with me that I'm not good enough for you to save or even answer? Everyone knows your people are asking for help. They are watching, and some are making fun of our faith. That doesn't seem to be helping us. Doesn't it bother you that I've tried to be faithful my whole life, but it doesn't seem to make a difference? It's bothering me. I don't have anyone to help me but you. Please stay close. I'm so afraid, and I need you. You can't go to the grocery store without wearing masks. There isn't enough Purell, and I'm scared of someone coughing close by to me. I'm worried about family and friends who are very sick. Some have already died. I keep having anxiety attacks. My stomach churns. My head aches. I get dry mouth. I can't make technology work when I really need it. And we don't have a vaccine to help us yet. Jesus must have felt this alone and scared when he was crucified on the cross. I don't know how he had the strength to handle all of the suffering. Remind me that he is with me when I am frightened. I don't have anyone to help me but you. Please stay close. I'm so afraid and I need you. Please come help soon. Protect me from the virus. In the quarantine soon. Help us to be kind to one another. Protect our jobs and our savings. But if we lose our jobs and our savings, help us to trust you for the things we need. Help me not to worry about the things I can't control. I will tell everyone that God can take care of us. And I will worship you now and when we all gather in person again. And when we worship online, all of us will worship you, all believers, because you have not forgotten us. You aren't hiding from us during this pandemic. You are listening to our prayers and our groanings. You are the author and the source of any good thing I can say or think. You help us trust you and be obedient because of our faith in you. You're going to take care of all our needs, and we will live with you forever. Through this pandemic, the whole earth will have an opportunity to thank you. All families can come worship you because you are the Lord of all creation, the whole earth. Even the very rich will bow down. The dying will worship you. This is our chance now and in the future to recognize you as God, so everyone can serve you. I hadn't thought about the coronavirus that way before. 
we will give all the credit to Jesus, who is perfect, telling those born later, Jesus was here. He took care of us, and he will take care of you. So first I want to say, I think we have all had moments where we cry into the pillows and blankets. Second, even if you are by yourself like me, we can always reach out to a friend or a family member when we feel this way. Because even though all of us have had bad moments or days, we don't all have them at the same time. And finally, it is most important that we cry out to God. Jesus did on the cross. He used the first verse of this psalm on the cross. God wants to hear us when we are at our darkest moments and feel far from Him. He will gently remind us of His care and concern and bring us into a time of fellowship and worship where we will be able to trust Him, praise Him, and feel safe with Him for our future and our children's future. Try rewriting some of the Psalms in your own words today or the next time you feel alone and frightened. Let's pray. Lord, you are always there. Thank you for reminding me of that so often these past few weeks. Be with us when we wake up in the middle of the night. Help us to rest knowing you are always with us. Thank you for Jesus. And it is in his name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. Let us know how we can keep praying for you. And let us know if you're scared and alone. We want to know and we want to help. See you soon.